Do you ever wake up, Hammersmith, and think, today I'm going to be a hero, I'm going to change the world, I'm going to make the world a better place? Do you ever feel like that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's all right, that's good, that's good. Because you know the last time I felt really amazing, I felt I'd make a positive change. Do you remember when me and Lionel Blair saved a man's life on Blackpool Pier? Have you heard about that? <laughs> okay, for those who don't know, I'll tell you briefly, okay. Me and Lionel Blair were having a glass of rosé at the end of Blackpool Pier. Possibly the gayest sentence you'll ever hear. <laughs> a man rushes in. Help, help, there's a man hanging off the end of the pier. He's going to die, he's going to die. He needs someone to save his life. To me and Lionel Blair. <laughs> <laughs> that man's so going to die. <laughs> no, I didn't. I ran to the end of the pier. Lionel tapped. I'm joking. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a man hanging off the end of the pier. I want to die. I've got nothing to live for. I want to die. Then out of the corner of my eye, I see... But I'm Lionel Blair. <laughs> I would have jumped. <laughs> I would have jumped. And then we both leant over and pulled him off. And it was just one of those things that... Um, <laughs> Just forget it, Hammersmith, just forget it. <laughs> There's a beautiful story and you twisted it into something about wanking. <laughs> now, but let's talk about this. Someone off the telly doing something good for a change. Can we talk about this? Yeah, yeah let's talk about this. People on the telly in the last year, they've either been tax dodgers or perverts, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. Puts my shoplifting into perspective, doesn't it? <laughs> All of a sudden, me walking around Matalan with a fake arm doesn't look so bad, does it? <laughs> What's that up there? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I couldn't believe all those people were dirty perverts, could you? No, just dirty bastards. The trouble is, people started getting nostalgic, didn't they? Oh, that's ruined my childhood hearing about that. You've got to be careful. Nostalgia plays tricks on you. Listen, I'll give you an example. Do you remember when Woolworth shut down? Yeah. What was the reaction like when Woolies shut down? Oh. Woolworth shut down because no one bought anything in there. Get over yourselves. <laughs> if you bought things in there, they would have bloody stayed open. In Northampton, people walking round. Oh, you could spend forever in Woolies. <laughs> Everything all under one roof. Did you ever buy anything? No, shit. <laughs> Woolworths was all right if you wanted a pencil case that looked like a bag of crisps. Do you know what I mean? That was all right. <laughs> Pick and mix. The Northampton one was so badly stopped pick and mix, we only had pick. <laughs> and this is random, this is random, yeah? I don't know if it's just the Northampton one, but you, you all got woolies in where you're from, haven't they? Everyone used to have woolies. Did you have a woman in the window every time you went past scratching a tit? Did you have that? <laughs> every time I went past, she was like this. I didn't know if she worked there or was a really ugly mannequin. I have no idea. Every time. <laughs> now, but you know, I was talking before about me being a hero and you twisted it in something about wanking and all that shit, yeah. Can we talk about this? Sometimes, do you feel sometimes you wish you'd manned up a bit more, Emma Smith? Be honest, come on. Do you sometimes wish you'd put your foot down a bit more? Do you sometimes wish you'd said something and been a bit braver? Yeah! yeah. I'll give you an example. Have you ever got in a taxi and the taxi's dropped you off at your house, but it's not your house and you've still got out? <laughs> it's only across this field. <laughs> Some of the letters are in my postcode. I mean... <laughs> You gotta stick up for yourself. So I'm gonna go to the cinema and someone's talking loudly or rustling the crisps. I don't say anything. My other half does. Fucking shut up! <laughs> a 
And then that's Eggy, innit? I find that Eggy. And I'm sitting in my seat and rolling my turtleneck. <laughs> but when I'm by myself, yeah, they antagonise me even more because they know I'm a pushover. They start talking even louder. Rustling the crisps even louder. Someone starts doing star jumps in front of the screen. <laughs> Next to a woman shredding. <laughs> I'm such a pushover, I start agreeing with her. Well, you might as well shred now while the film's on. <laughs> I hate any kind of confrontation at the cinema. I do even that bit, you know, where you got to go past everyone to get your seat. And you always feel like you have to say at least one piece of information to each person as you go by. I needed a wee, I needed a drink, traffic was shit. Oh my God, I love this bit, what about this? <laughs> I hate that bit so much, I once trod in a woman's open handbag and kept on walking. <laughs> I don't think anyone's noticed. <laughs> now, but we all got to say things, stick up for ourselves. Sometimes morally as well. I saw someone shoplifting once, yeah, and I didn't say anything. Now, listen, we've all got regrets, haven't we? We've all got regrets, haven't we? Yeah, I mean, keep them upbeat, don't start going, I just put a pillow over his face and he was gone. <laughs> Come on, it's the weekend. Come on. I saw someone shoplifting and I didn't do anything. The trouble is, when I see crime, I giggle. <laughs> <laughs> and he was just putting all this stuff in a hold all scowling at me, and I just went... <laughs> <laughs> I did that face. <laughs> what is the point of that face? <laughs> Should have grabbed him, shouldn't I? Should have grabbed him. But I'd just come out of Matalan. <laughs> He's getting away. <laughs> it's everyday things I need to say. I went and got my hair cut, yeah. And you know the girl with the broom who sweeps up and all that? She's the one who washes it, isn't it? So I put my head back in the sink. She goes, is that water all right? <laughs> I said, yeah. <laughs> it was scolding, scolding. <laughs> My hairline was bleeding. <laughs> My glasses had melted in my face. I looked like Robocop. <laughs> Why what? didn't I say to her, you're hurting me? And I'm not leaving that hairdresser, I'm not, because he's lovely. He's so lovely. He knows I'm sensitive about me bald spot. You know me bald spot? You know when they get the mirror out to show you the back of your head? He always angles it so it's the back of someone else's. <laughs> How lovely. <laughs> A ponytail? Yeah. <laughs> my hair. You. Five stars, four fingers. Uh. 